Is it a bird? Is it a plane? Uh, no, it's just Fleming's left hand rule. Hello and welcome to Underdog Physics. Fleming's left hand rule looks like this. It shows the direction of force experienced by a current carrying wire when it's in a magnetic field. Basically, if a current carrying wire is in a magnetic field and it's at 90 degrees to that magnetic field, it will experience a force. If the current and magnetic field directions are parallel to each other, we don't get a force. If the current direction and magnetic field direction are somewhere in between parallel and 90 degrees to each other, we get a kind of a bit of a force. We'll deal with that in another video. Fleming's left hand rule has your thumb, your first finger and your second finger perpendicular to each other. What that means is your thumb indicating the direction of thrust or force is at 90 degrees to your first finger, the magnetic field running north to south. The magnetic field is at 90 degrees to your second finger, the direction of conventional current. The conventional current is 90 degrees to your thumb, the thrust or the force, of course. The force, of course. Maybe I should make a t-shirt. T-shirt? Now that's sorted out, let's see an example or two. If a wire carrying conventional current in this direction, from left to right on the screen, is in a magnetic field flowing upward on the screen, the direction of the force on the wire should be out of the screen, towards your face. If a wire carrying conventional current into the screen is in a magnetic field flowing upward on the screen, as you look at it, the direction of the force would be to the right. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. No, I don't need to be able to type anything. I just need to see what I'm doing. Yay, I can see what I'm doing. Excellent.